Bill and Elaine Biggs, Lycor Biosciences, Lincoln. Lycor Biosciences is a global leader in developing and marketing innovative, high-quality instrument systems. Their mission, impacting lives through science, could easily be used to describe Bill and Elaine Biggs and the impact they have had. They have built a successful business. Uh, it continues to expand. It continues to be prominent in their sector of the industry. But I think the chamber in honoring the Biggs and the Lycor, we really honor ourselves uh, as Nebraskans because it is truly a Nebraska born and bred and grown company. Bill Biggs is the co-founder of Lycor and his wife Elaine is secretary of the board. Together, the two have navigated some difficult times but found great success in business and in life. Elaine grew up on a farm south of Lincoln and attended National Business Institute. A Lincoln native, Bill attended Milford Technical School and the University of Nebraska. They were married in 1960. Bill graduated with high distinction in 1967 as an electrical engineer, pursued his master's degree, and worked on a Rockefeller grant studying sorghum as a food supplement. That's where I got really interested in scientific instruments. And, and having had electronics uh, at Milford and then taken it at the university, I was, I was able to do a little bit of design, not very much. But it was really extre extremely good experience. One of the instruments that Bill developed was a sensor and meter for measuring photosynthetically active radiation. In 1971, they co-founded Lambda Instruments Corporation, which later became Lycor. The growth in biotech research took the company in new directions, including DNA and gene sequencing technology. But for Bill, the success brought on new challenges. I, I, I started out as an engineer, but when I crashed in, in 1976. I went through depression. God had a different plan for my life. He really did. During his bout with depression, three co-workers led Bill to a Christian life that led to his recovery. High caliber employees are what Bill and Elaine are most grateful for. When we were talking about what we were proud of, it's our employees that have made Lycor. Yeah, we're, we're, we thank the Lord for them. It's, it's a great, it's a great staff and it's, it's a wonderful staff. They have brought uh, new families in the area, as I mentioned earlier, they've kept families in the area. They provide opportunities, creative, interesting, challenging opportunities for Nebraska graduates. Today, Lycor employs over 300 employees worldwide with headquarters in Lincoln, and subsidiaries in Bad Homburg, Germany, and Cambridge, UK. Lycor products are in use on every continent and on the International Space Station. Bill has continued to build Lycor by putting an emphasis on selecting employees who are world-class in all facets of the company's operation. To date, Lycor has been awarded more than 300 US and foreign patents. In our biotechnology space, we're really working on uh, instrumentation and dyes that continue to help in the area of cancer research. Uh, even last this year in 2020, we've been uh, working with large pharmaceutical companies that are using our technology to, to investigate how to treat and vaccines for COVID-19, for example. Lycor continues to work on ways to improve crop yields in the agriculture and environment science area and to look at climate change research with new technology. Bill and Elaine have impacted the lives of numerous Lycor employees and customers throughout the world. Mom and Dad, just really proud of all the things you've done over the years, how you've uh, been really leading by example in a self-sacrificial way, uh, wanting to help out others in and, and whatever way you could, and uh, just the impact you're making on not just my life and our families, but those are our, our team here at Lycor, or Lincoln the community and internationally with our distribution partners and customers and trying to be a light in the world. And I just really appreciate that and just excited that you received this award. 
uh, just as Nebraskans, we're just so proud of what you've accomplished and really appreciate everything you've done for our state. And so it was my pleasure to be able to give this award to you. Uh, there's induction into the Hall of Fame in recognition of all the great work over the last 50 years. I just want to start with the fact when Bob Milligan called me and said, you guys are going to be inducted into the Hall of Fame, I said, I'm not qualified. <laughs> and I still believe that. Elaine's qualified, <laughs> but not me. And without Elaine, we wouldn't have a company. There's no way. She's, she's just been tremendous. I want to thank all, I really, really the whole company gets, should, should have this award. It shouldn't just be Elaine and I. It really, it's, it's everybody, and it's everybody in this room. And I'm, I'm extremely thankful for just the blessings of all of them. All the people we have to have it employed. I don't, I, don't, I don't want to go any longer on the story, but that gives you a little bit of a history of how, how it got to where, where we are with all these incredible sciences, biotechnology, molecular biology, optical instrumentation, you name it. It's not like a University of Nebraska here almost. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs>